environmental impact assessment okay so previously we discussed about the uh, CTP and ETP that is effluent treatment plant and CTP common effluent treatment plant okay so uh, environmental impact assessment it is nothing but to assess the impact of industry on environment okay so uh, before uh, the construction of industry it may be considered as a textile industries or it may be considered as cotton industries so what are the uh, impact after the construction of that industry or after the manufacturing and production uh, process of that industries okay so uh, impact in the sense uh, impact on the environment impact on human being uh, impact on water pollution impact on land pollution air pollution okay so these all impact uh, which assess and that assessment of that impact of industry on environment that is called as EI environmental impact assessment okay so uh, the EI environmental impact assessment and E environmental audit so these two terms which related with the industry okay so EI can be done before the starting of project and E environmental audit that can be done after the progressing of industry Okay, so uh, what are the uh, some impact of industry over the environment and how to minimize uh, that impact on environment that can be settled in EI environmental impact assessment. Okay, so uh, this EI environmental impact assessment uh, which is a formal process for identifying the likely effect of activity or project on the environment and human health and uh, what are the welfare includes the development uh, mitigation or monitoring measures okay so what are the if uh, so first uh, the process of environmental impact assessment it is nothing but to identify uh, the likely effect of project and activity on environment on human health and what are the mitigation measures or monitoring measures to minimize the impact of environment and on human health? That is what nothing but the environmental impact assessment. Okay. So the environment which may has a different component in the sense physical, like geology, topography, then soil, then water resources, then air quality. Okay. So that means it leads uh, the industry, industrial activity may be lead air pollution and believe water pollution, may believe soil pollution or other different effect. If you consider biological, so it may be a vanish of flora and fauna, then biodiversity, then effect on ecosystem, effect on human being, okay. Also the social effect like including culture and religion and local values. Okay? So these are different uh, many components of environment and what are the impact or effect of uh, uh, that industrial activity on that uh, environment component that can be assessed. Okay. So impact that is uh, deviation from a baseline situation and assessment or the exercise of identifying impact likely to arise from an activity or a project. So quantify them and assess them and their significance. Okay. So this is what the process of EI environmental impact assessment. Okay. So <clears throat> definition we discuss that is the an environmental impact assessment EI is an assessment of the possible positive or negative impact that a proposed project may have on the environment considering natural uh, social and economical aspect so this is the basic definition of EI assessment of positive and negative impact that the proposed project may have on the environment. So according to the IAIA that is the International Association of Impact Assessment, so EIA uh, can be defined as uh, the process of identifying, process of predicting, process of evaluating and mitigating the biophysical, the social and other relevant effect of development proposal prior to major decision being taken and commitment made. Okay, so this process includes these all steps that is identifying the impact, 
reduction of impact, then evaluation of impact, and uh, mitigation measures. Okay, so these all decision and commitment can be made into this project of EI environmental impact assessment. Okay, so EI environmental impact assessment began to be used uh, in the 1916 as a part of the rational decision making process and it involves a technical evaluation that would lead to objective decision making. EI was made legislation in the US in the National Environment Policy Act 1969. The main steps uh, in EIA process that is the screening, then scoping, then prediction and mitigation, then management and monitoring and finally auditing. Okay, so these are some major uh, steps which follow in EIA process. So uh, the first uh, that is what nothing but uh, the screening so screening it is nothing but uh, uh, screening is the solution to the problem of deciding which project required ei so there are various types of project based on the requirements and ei compulsion okay so uh, according to screening uh, the solution of the problems of decision which project required ei or not next scoping so uh, uh, scoping points which comes under uh, which uh, consider the impact uh, within what area for what lesson and for the time duration okay so the scoping which consider the impact to be considered within what area and for what re for what uh, reason and uh, for time duration the scoping is also influenced by the aspect such as the environmental impact, public opinions, then regulations, the baseline environment, the project area, its size, environmental parameters and life of project. So these all point also consider in the scoping. So next prediction. So uh, the in prediction the property predict and assess the impact of a proposed action and it is first necessary to describe the future environmental setting in the area without the project. Okay, so this is what uh, the prediction and finally the reporting where the report can be prepared which including the environmental management plan and a non-technical summary for a general guidelines and the subjective of this draft is to be reviewed and comment by authors and preparation of final EIS and subsequent formatting of this final statement with the Council of Environmental Quality. So in this way, uh, uh, the report is going to be prepared by this various stage. Okay, so as we discussed, so these are the main steps in EIA process. So a screening, then scoping, then prediction, then management and monitoring, okay, and reporting. So the purpose of EI to facilitate decision making, to aid in the formation of development and to be an instrument for sustainable development. So this is what uh, the flowchart of EI process. So what are the different process which are carried out in EI? So first the project screening. Okay, so first stage that is project screening in which we can identify as the EIA is needed or not for that pro uh, particular project. Okay, so project screening that EI is needed or not. Second, scoping. So scoping which impact and issues to be considered. So what are the environmental impact and issues that can be considered in scoping? What is scope of industries? So uh, the second stage scoping in which we impact and issues to be considered. Next, description of the project and development action. Next, the description to the environmental baseline. Next, prediction of impact. What are the impact, different impact. Next, evaluation and assessment of significance of impact. Next, identification of mitigation, each ma mitigation measures. So what are the different measures we can apply to minimize that environmental impact. Next, presentation of finding in an EIS. So this all needs the public consultation. 
so during the meetings and consultation we need the public okay so all these issues should be considered during uh, public consultation okay next uh, the review of an eis then decision making and finally the post decision monitoring and auditing and prediction of mitigation measures so these are different stages or different steps which follow in ei process environmental impact assessment process okay so uh, the first project screening next project scoping next consideration of alternatives next description of project then development action of project next description of environmental baseline next identification of key impacts on environment the prediction of impact then evaluation and assessment of significance then mitigation measures then public consultation and participation then eis preparation review then decision making then post decision monitoring and auditing so these are the various different steps which follow in eia process environmental impact assessment process okay so as we already discussed so these are steps so first one is screening so screening that is often results in a categorization of the project and uh, from this a decision is made on whether or not a full eia is to be carried out or not okay so in which we can identify either ei is needed or not next scoping is the process of determining which are the most critical issues to be study and will involve community participation to some degree so it is at this early stage that ei can most strongly influence the outline proposal next the detailed prediction and mitigation studies follow scoping and are carried out in parallel with feasibility feasibility studies the main output report is called as environmental impact statement okay so eis that is uh, the main output report after the uh, this process that is called as environmental impact statement and contains a detailed plan for managing and monitoring environmental impact both during and after implementation of project so finally an audit of uh, environmental impact assessment process is carried out uh, some time after implementation and audit serve a useful feedback and learning function so after the implementation of project after the starting of project the audit uh, which can be done so audit of an ei process is carried out after some time after implementation of project and the audit serve a useful feedback and learning function so what are the data requirement or data required for the ei process the first the data required in the form of project so if you consider project so which type of project then Uh, what is the size of project then uh, what are the location of project so this uh, data we required during the uh, assessment next uh, what is the area of potential impact so uh, where impact will be occurs so physical resources then biological resources then economic development resources then quality of life and other existing and planned project and so these are the data required during the uh, ei process next externalities of ei so some positive externalities and some negative externalities so what are the positive externalities so first the new jobs generated that is economic growth uh, stimulated next growth of local business enterprises supported next development of supporting and complementary industries next influx of capital and disposable income next some of the negative externalities okay so as we discuss positive externalities like uh, new jobs generated economic growth stimulated growth of local business enterprises supported 
then development of supporting and complementary industries, influx of capital and disposable income. These are some positive externalities of EI.